Hello, my name is Diego Correa of Diego Correa Interior Design. Uh, welcome to my first video. I'm going to be talking about some subjects on design that I think that are important to discuss when addressing or looking for to change or to discover new ways or ways of uh, changing your, your home is that is is your aim so uh, today I'm going to be talking about a subject in particular that I have found very interesting as an important part of my clientele are males whereas entrepreneurs or bachelors or uh, uh, successful people in the banking industry or uh, in another in other industries as well and a, a common uh, request has been uh, I want my flat to look modern and masculine so w what does that mean uh, exactly what you say if it seems very obvious that if they're asking for a masculine look uh, is a consequence of them being men I think yes that, that's correct but there is a second point and which is understanding the spirit of the era we are living currently and why I say that because uh, the, the, the times we are living are driven by many of the characteristics associated with the male uh, the male persona if you would like to say such as pragmatism, being grounded living in the now importance of success, uh, straightforwardness, uh, and in terms of aesthetics, use of gray colors, solid colors, uh, preference for straight lines or long curved ones. Uh, so those kind of elements, plus the fact that technology is taking more and more an important role in our life. And if you think about that, no, so, no long ago, technology was the toys that it produces uh, has been associated with a kind of uh, uh, elements that belong to the male territory of course that is changing and is changing but still you see many people thinking of technology and gadgets as something that is more related to men than to women as I said, it's not exclusive, but it's there, and we cannot we cannot deny that, at least not at this stage. So the, the idea of this, I think, when a client requests if he wants a masculine uh, uh, surrounding, I think is is not necessarily uh, could be in some cases. Uh, being feminist or chauvinist, I think, is about wanting to live in a space that reflect the spirit of what is going on and as interior designer that is one of my main purpose what is, that is my, my vision we see which is help my clients to deliver a space that represent them in the period that that space is being built so it's not unusual to have a kind of approach associated with the genre. If you think there have been in history styles that have been associated with one or the other. For example, we have feminine, more feminine styles like Rococo or Baroque or uh, Victorian style or uh, part of it, not all of it, uh, it's worth to clarify, or country style, or more recently Art Nouveau. And on the other hand, we have masculine styles, like I would say international style, minimalism, uh, you know, all, all of both of them with a very strong influence of, of technology. Uh, as you, as you probably can check and we have as well sort of in between styles that I would say that is more 
neutral where female and male force are more balanced and for me two of the most important ones are Art Deco and Scandinavian style. So whatever you want your, your, your house to look and if you want it to be associated with that kind of spirit in particular, a male spirit or a feminine spirit if it's the case, I think that is totally, totally perfect. I think the important thing is be clear about what you want to achieve and with your designer you can create a very special theme for this room uh, following that big goal which is a masculine look. For example, you can have in the living room you can have a very a sleek look, very modern, very neat, very neat, excuse me, uh, very uh, austere in the use of elements, probably not a lot of wood, probably a lot of chrome, probably a lot of new materials, probably solid colors, probably uh, lighting, some gadgets, technology, so you can entertain in a more efficient way. I think that you need probably this kind of a space if that drives you, if that energizes you when you are socializing and when you are entertaining your, your, your guests, friends, social uh, or business uh, uh, acquaintances. So that is, that is really important. But if you move, for example, for, the, for, the, for your bedroom, probably you want that strong presence to be tame a little bit. So you decide to integrate some uh, more color or you can to integrate patterns on the fabrics or on the curtains or on the carpet. So it's going to still look masculine because masculine is not necessarily achieved through just one element masculinity is the balance of how all of them work together so you can have different levels of intensity so when you go finally to your bathroom you are going to find you know probably the use of very very strong colors or uh, exotic materials or the use of uh, contrast elements very contrasted elements uh, the great thing about the bathrooms talking about them is that it's, it's one space in the house because we don't spend a lot of time there. We can be a little bit more creative, creative uh, designing them. We can a little bit explore more options because it's about having a bit of fun, if you would like to, to say, and um, breaking a little bit the boundaries. I wouldn't say that we should be doing that in living rooms and bedrooms because we tend to stay there more. Hence, we can get tired quicker uh, of, of those ball features, so to speak. So, as you can see, the whole of your, of your house, of your flat, of your apartment, can be perfectly balanced and having a very nice outcome when you go space through a space. The beauty of, of, of design, I think, that is about having clarity. Once you have clarity in what you want to achieve, I think that everything is, is possible and it's going to look in harmony. So whereas it's a very even uh, understanding of a space, room by room, or if you would like to have a journey when in the, in the same way that you change rooms, in that same way you, ch you change your emotions or your feelings of your mood and I think that that's very, very, very valuable when you are thinking of what you do in your home. So as you can see, masculine design is something that is totally, uh, I think, accurate in our days. And, and I think that it's got values that definitely are very, are very attractive and very interesting. So uh, I would suggest that take your time, think how do you want to be represented in that new spaces that you are about to change and how that space is going to make you feel more grounded, more powerful, more relaxed, more happier at the end of the day. So I hope that this uh, small uh, short dissertation about 
uh, masculine spaces has helped you to to discover some new ideas of what you want to do for your home and looking forward to to see you in my in my next video um, please check my website there you're going to find another ideas uh, about design so thank you very much and have a wonderful wonderful week bye bye thank you